just a full heads up, our iPod is not connecting to our TV. It's actually dead this morning. So just an FYI, you're going to hear the timer, but I just won't see it. But we'll make it work. All right, so we're going to start off with those calf presses. So one foot into that band, pressing that foot forward. Morning, James. Just look to check the time. Guess what? I can't see it. Didn't last long. Put this over here for you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Go ahead and pull off that ankle here. So completely relax it. Tug on either side of that band. Show a little movement here through that joint. Happy Friday, everybody. Glad to see a good turnout before recovery week. We're Liz Swagger. All right, let's come to our backside here for those hamstring presses. Bring that knee towards the chest. Lead with the heel, push that band up. Oh, <laughs> good. Good. You can stick here. Stick in here. If you want to increase that resistance, you can. All right. Coming to that band, figure four. So grabbing that band with the opposite hand. Bring that knee around 90 degrees, pulling the toes towards that shoulder so you can feel that through the glute. Then if you don't feel it in the glute, just kind of play around with that knee angle. Grab both sides of that band or drive that leg straight across the body. Bring it back to 90. Oh. Hi, buddy. Hi. All right, coming to that cool wide stretch. So rolling on to that free side. Foot and band come behind the back. We're going to pull that band up and over that top shoulder. Keeping that foot nice and close to the floor here. Squeeze that same side glute. This bothers the knee. Just release some of that slack or you can grab that foam roller and roll up the quad or come to a half knee hip flexor stretch. If you want to increase that tension, you can. Otherwise, stick here. Good. Let's go ahead and sit on up. We're going to switch sides here. Same thing, starting off with those presses. Good, relax that ankle, no more flosses.
All right, coming to our back here to those hamstring presses. Again, bring the knee towards the chest, lead with the heel, keep the toes towards the shin. Increase that resistance a little bit. So I stick here. All right, back to that band, figure four, pulling the toes towards that shoulder. And that bottom leg out nice and straight, back flat, hip flat. Good, grab both sides of that band or drive that heel straight across, back to 90. Right, back to that cool wall stretch, roll into that free side. Band comes behind. Uh, increase that stretch if you'd like. Squeeze the glute. All right, come on up, band, stand up as slowly. We're gonna come two foot over the line here. Stand on those toes, going forward and back. If you want to hop it, you can hop it. Go ahead and get started with that halfway. We'll switch those cross countries if you're able to. If you're able to switch those cross country, so you can jump into those opposite arm and leg, otherwise stick the foot over the line. All right, finishing off, starting off with some body weight squats here. Drop the hips down, drop through the heels. Chest up, knees are out. Good time here. Focus on the depth and the stretch. Halfway, we can either increase the speed or switch it to the drop squat. Good. You can switch to drop squats or just increase that speed a little bit on those body weight squats. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we're going to put those foam rollers away if you took any outs and bands. <clears throat> All right. Thank you. Thank you. As you guys make your way back to your spots, what we have going on today, very similar to last Friday. Um, so we have five stations. We're going to go through those five stations, roll five times. All right. It's going to be with that increasing rep. So working time is always going to remain at 30 seconds. Just the only difference is that obviously in between each round, you're going to get more and more rest as the workout continues. So first round is going to be 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off. You'll move during that 20 seconds. It's going to be your quickest transition. And then you'll just add an additional 10 seconds after each round. So you'll eventually finish off with 30 on and a full minute of rest. All right, so going through these stations. First one we have our sleds. You guys all know those. Push them down and back. They are all set up at the same weight. Feel free to add or remove. Just be courteous of the people coming up behind you. From there, we have those half kneeling med ball scoop tosses. So we did these the other week, but a reminder. So we have that half kneeling position here. Remember the knee closest to the wall is up. That way we're tossing up and over something here. Squeeze the glutes so we can keep good stability of that lower body. Cradle that ball, branch towards that up the hip. Then we exhale and slam it into the wall as hard as we can. From there, we're gonna find ourselves a kettlebell for our kettlebell swings. If you guys are unable to use a weight today, you can instead come to our body weight swings. So for uh, focusing on that power, that drive forward, that lockout with the hips at the top. From there, we'll head up the skiers, rip the handles down as fast as you can. If you want to add some competition, either, I think we have pretty close even amount as far as groups go. So you can figure out who you want to follow and then try to beat their meters every time or look at your own meters and try to beat yourself every time. Or, actually that's all I have for ideas. Or if you guys come up and be creative, that'd be cool. And then, yeah, there we go. Or you don't have to do it, that's true. Uh, and then last station we have our front planks. Last week we did the side planks. This week we'll do front planks. If you're unable to be on the forearms, you can flip it over and we'll do those hollow body holds. Any questions on any exercises I didn't demo or in general? All right, let's go. All my five here, if you guys wanna start on sleds. So Terry, one, two, three, four, five. All of you guys start on front planks. MA, one, two, three, four, five. All of you guys start on skiers. One, two, three, or Jesse, I'll have you guys start on kettlebell swing. And my four in the back corner, I'll have you stay back there and do the scoop tosses. No, oh, it's the way you, the way I do it, not you. It's my fault. Oh, no, it's your fault. Same time. Perfect. <laughs> All right. At home, do you guys have sleds? That's super cool. And you can start off with sleds. Otherwise, we'll do some full body, do some squat thrusts here. You want to demo it for me, sir? <laughs> feet wide, hands meet the floor, jump the feet back, wide, stand all the way up. If we need to step it out, you can go ahead and step it out. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves ready. All right, come, including you, you got to get ready. Out of the way. Good boy. All right, let's go ahead and. Pray that this timer counts, Jeff. All right, getting ready here. 10 second countdown. We got five, four. Nice. Here we go. 30 seconds. Nice hustle, sled. Keep pushing. Three. Oh. 
three, two, one. My apologies, now I know what's happened. All right, guys, we're moving in that perfect circle. Sled to that half nice scoop toss, scoop toss to swing, swing, steer, steer, front plank, front plank to sled. All right, at home, if you have something to scoop and toss, you can do that. Otherwise, you're going to do a rotational palace press. Stepping both feet into that band. Grab that band, push it straight out. And we're going to rotate in one direction. Here we go. Keep moving. Three, two, one. All right, resting. Remember, 20 seconds is a very quick transition. Let's find that third station. All right, at home, you either have kettlebell swings, your body weight swings. So if you're doing kettlebell, you're going to grab that kettlebell. Hips come down. You hike it back. Use the glutes and hamstrings. Drive that through. Getting confusing a weight. We'll go body weight. Here we go. Come on, Justin. <laughs> Three. Arrested. All right, at home, kind of in place high knees here unless you have a skier or a rower at home opposite arm and knee nice and high if you need to march it you can march it we're moving three two one here we go this is the heaviest one here for now just so you know yeah Ooh, nice hustle lemma 15 seconds, here we go. <laughs> Got less than 10, keep moving. Rest, let's go ahead and find that fifth station and you'll get some additional rest. All right, at home, finish up with front plank, forearm and toes, rip those elbows to those toes. You can't be on the forearms, also flip on over. Come to our hollow body hold. Exercise five, Three, two, one. Exercise five. Yep. <laughs> Good job, guys. Keep pushing. You'll get a full minute of rest coming up. Rip those elbows to those toes. Good power swing. All right, resting. You guys have a full minute of a rest. Go ahead, catch your breath, grab some water. We'll be right back at the top. Keep alternating sides on those scoop sauces. Here. Yeah. Come down and it's like my arm gets really weak. I know the last time I was doing it too. Yeah, instead of skier, you can either do high knees or the bike if the bike feels better for you. Uh, knee grab abs, anything that's going to get the heart rate going but eliminates arm pull. Okay. I don't yep. know what it is. It's like yeah, and it could be, um, I've had that feeling too, um, but more of like a pinch. Um, and it's because I'm pulling from my arms rather than my lats. So like you're here, think like you're trying to squeeze the armpits down, yeah. just like you would with a chin. So a lot of times we get caught up here and then pull from the shoulder. Where's the, oh, I was like, where the heck's the last one? <laughs> here we go, right back at the top. Power those scoop tosses, big exhales. Crap, Jackie. We're resting. We're moving. 
Remember, we have that increased rest time. So you now have 30 seconds of rest. Lucky. Someone beating you up or what? You wouldn't believe. I walked into a um, fire uh, alarm. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. And uh, honestly, surprised I didn't break my nose the other night. So I got up in the middle of the night to let my dog out, and our bedroom door must have been angled just right, and I went boom oh, no. right into it at like two in the morning. I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah, it was it was not fun. It's funny to talk about now, but not at the moment. <laughs> Arrested? Oh yeah. <laughs> Find that third station. At home, back to those kettlebell or bodyweight swings. I wonder, it's like, is Amy about to swing that thing? Holy crap. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, ever since you're back, yeah. Has he ever broken them down for you? Oh, yeah. oh, okay. And I still, I just, like, have, like, the muscle memory. Yeah, of going back to the old pattern. Yeah. yeah. And then when we take a break from them, and they come back around, my hips. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's tough. You can always start implementing more of a hip drive. So, like, even if you wanted to do um, deadlift, yeah. we go up against the TRX and uh, TRX rack and put a banner on your hips and let it pull you back and you drive it forward so you're getting resistance pulling you back and forward too at the same time so you can idea. always give that a shot too yeah. 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 And then you get that longer rest again. Yep. All out 30 seconds. Back to the top. So there, third time through. So that rest is increased now to 40 seconds. Rest. Yep. Wow. It's not normal for us to do that. Yeah, I know. Normally we take rest away from you guys. I'm trying to be nice, you know? <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm hoping the iPod at least lasts through this class. Right before I explain the workout, it's like 20% battery. I'm like, what the? Why is it not charging anymore on that? Yeah, you got it. Perfect. Two, one. Here we go.
Press that foot kick. All the way, keep going. Press in. We're moving. Oh, yeah. Look at all That's why. try it so spring the band here and then squat down so I'm gonna hinge let the band pull my hips back driving forward so you're still getting that hinge pattern of a kettlebell swing I don't I was debating on it but I think you'll be fine just control I was gonna grab something a little lighter but I'm like you look fine over there power wise like if you were struggling to get that up I'd be eh. and if you need to yeah you can always scoot back too if it's too much Okay, just let the hips be pulled back and then drive them forward like you would with a kettlebell swing, but instead of swinging it forward, we're just pulling it up, the kettlebell. Yep. Right. Yep. Right. So that's just mimicking the hinge pattern that you would get for a swing. So now you're focusing. The only other thing I would change because it's kind of a mix of a deadlift and a hinge, instead of bringing the knees here a little less, uh, bend so you're reaching down there you go yeah because think when we do a kettlebell swing right we're not bending the knees here we're pushing the hips back so that's going to mimic that same motion but now you're getting weight pulling here versus there you're welcome hey ladies feeling doing good oh no Ah, oh, she's ready for recovery week. Yeah. Going all out. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I said, Emory. Good. good, good. Power, Melissa. Rest in. Finding that fist, see shin, and you get that longer rest. <laughs> hey, on, Danielle. I'm good. Do anything fun for recovery week? Or just working. Yeah. I always think, I always forget that, like, you guys also don't have the week off. So I'm like, what are you doing? And they're like, Ash, I'm working. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so sorry. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. Which is always nice. Hey, Mark. Hey, 
Preston! <laughs> you guys are crushing at home. Two rounds left. All right, one whole minute of rest. We're going to be right back at the top. This time we're 30 seconds of work. 50 seconds of rest. A little more time to rest. A little extra credit. Nice. How are you feeling, Terry? Doing all right? <laughs> it's Friday. You made it. Two rounds left. We're done. Yep. Oh. <laughs> nice speed mark. Over up the elbows to the toes. Power am I? Rested. We're moving. 50 seconds to rest. No. So yesterday, Aunt Anne Marie had her thing on backwards. What thing? Oh. I said your first time backwards. <laughs> oh, we all have those mornings. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eh, whatever. So I'm going to say What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you end up uh, having some more interviews or what? No, Anything? Monday. Where? Oh, okay. Yeah. Get his butt back in here, would you? No, he quit a long time ago. Oh, his wife's been on and off too. She's usually in the after. She usually comes at like six forty-five, but he was usually earlier. So yeah. Yeah, get his butt back in here, would you? Tell him or be like, I'm quitting. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yep, we're moving. Good. Hi, let's stay on, all right? Okay, awesome. Rest in. <clears throat> you playing it? Oh uh, yes, I did. You yeah. did? Yeah. Nice. I was so bummed they canceled it outside. Was it a good turnout at the arena? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you you played Everett? Oh, okay. My grandson, he's on. Oh, God. What team did you play for? A bunch of them played on um, Hooters, you know, drop out the team. Yep. They won. Oh, nice. I can't remember now. I can tell you a dang team yeah. on that. <laughs> um, Joshua Pass. Yeah. 
they both played. Bruce Lacasse, they both played. Yeah, can't remember what team it was. It'll hit you at one point. <laughs> Stop, Jackie. Nice. Rested. Nicely done. Woohoo. Making the next people behind you work for their sled. That's what I like. <laughs> Down to ten percent. Oh my god. What? Oh. Um, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. We'll chop suey. No. What's left of the battery? What? I thought this was you guys' favorite playlist. Out of all of them. That's why I put it on. No, a battery on the iPod. All the way, guys. Gonna get that longer rest. Ten seconds. Three. <laughs> All righty, resting. One whole minute here. We got one round left, so 30 seconds of work, one minute of rest. If you guys want some extra movement, today's daily challenge is 25 squat thrusts and 25 dynamic planks. Grab some water, catch your breath, and then we'll make our way right back to the top. Frank on two fingers today now, not just the pinky. Very well this morning. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So two, two off the toe down in the course of what? Just day three? Yeah. Two's off that. Nice. Did he say it's a little less painful or like he's quicker to he, move? He, he just said progress. So I'm like, That's good. good. Yeah. He's going to give it time. I mean, what? Oh, like you said, day three. So, time. yeah. Last time, though. You know what he said yesterday? What? He got upstairs to get a shower. He's like, thank God. Yeah. Seriously. Makes a huge difference. Awesome job, guys. One down, four to go. We're moving. All right, for the last time at each station, make it count. Getting ready for that second exercise. I was wondering if it was going to be a nice day or not. I hope so. I didn't end up walking yesterday. I went home and napped for two hours instead. So I'm like, I'd like to walk today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Woo, we're challenging those swings. We got some big weights out. Go skiers, big exhales. Rest in. <laughs> I 
I was wondering how far she was going to take it. Two down. Getting ready at home. Go swing. Three, two, one. All out, 30 seconds. Here we go. Almost there, we've got five seconds. Keep going. <coughs> nice little hustle there. Two stations left. That's all right, thanks. Probably. And if not, I'll move it. Tony, do you have a favorite song you listen to all the time? So you're, maybe your last training day will end on a good note. Uh, Metallica? Let me see. There might, hey, there might be a remix. Three. Arrested. Let's try and find that final station. It says it's remastered, so we'll see how it turns out. Right. Yeah. I think it was out. Ten seconds. Got it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Here we go. <laughs> All the way here, guys. It's your last t shirt. It's Friday. Last and ten, keep pushing. Yeah. Woo uh, Awesome job. Any kettlebells can just be lined back up, pad stack, everything else is fine. Where it's at. Couple of minutes here, stretch, we'll do a little hip stretch. We'll make you guys do Sally again. Yeah. 
All right, 90 in the front, 90 in the back. Coming in that pinwheel stretch here. Square that chest. We're gonna drive it forward. As we're stretching, just a reminder, if you are somebody that was entered into that raffle for the referrals, uh, entered in to win either that free kayak or paddleboard of choice, Megan will be doing that drawing today. I'm not exactly sure what time she decided to do that, but just keep your eyes peeled. She will let you know on every avenue possible. All right, so she'll be doing that today. And then if you weren't aware, recovery week is next week. Go ahead and switch sets. So again, no coach-led classes. Uh, but if you guys are interested in some of the open gym times, I believe she's offering three different days with different times available. So just click on the link she sent out and get signed up for that. That way we know who's coming and who to expect. So we can get everything set up, ready to go for you. Otherwise, if you're not planning to come in and train, still try to keep yourself active, focus on your nutrition, your water. We get some decent weather, maybe go for a walk or add in some extra mobility. <clears throat> go, let's just finish up with a back stretch here. So that child's pose, so hands and knees, kind of bring those heels together. Then we're gonna rock back towards them, keep the hips down. We're gonna outstretch those fingertips as far as we can. Focus on breathing through the belly. It's gonna get that diaphragm, that low back stretched out a bit more. Good. Feel free to come on out of that unless it feels good or if you want to do any more back stretches, cat, camel, anything you would like, feel free to do so. Otherwise, happy Friday, everybody. If I don't see you in passing throughout recovery week, enjoy it. We'll see you back in April. Oh, let's make it happen. Nice and loud on three. One, two, three. Make it happen. Woo. Good job. <laughs> Got that, Emma? <laughs> hey, no problem. Have a good day, guys. All right. Thanks for jumping on at home. Enjoy the rest of your day. And we will see you back next week.